Today we'll talk about how to record your Nintendo Switch gameplay with high resolution and audio. Okay, so straightforward, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my HDMI cable. And after you got the HDMI cable, pretty much it's just plugging it into the Elgato Cam Link. And I like to use the extender for the Elgato Cam Link. So that way I avoid having any kind of breakup or breakage uh, because it is just a normal USB stick at the end of the day. So you plug in that to a USB 3.0 port. And after that is connected. Now the trick, the trick here is that you gotta make sure that your Nintendo Switch is on uh, beforehand because you want to ensure that the output is already uh, being streamed out. To HDMI. So what you need to do is just come in here. So now we're in Streamlab OBS and we already learned how to add the Nintendo Switch into our scene so that we can go ahead and stream it out. But if you want to record it really straightforward, what you need to do is just make sure that the output section here, you're going to select recording, select stat, the type to be standard, you can choose your path, make sure that the generate file name without spaces is selected so that way you won't have any kind of weird names with spaces. And then the recorded format, it usually starts at FLV, you want to change it into MP4 and you're going to select which audio track is the one where that audio is going to be outputted. Now here obviously on the encoding you are going to select if you want to use the CPU or the GPU is going to be your call depending on which uh, resources you have. The output resolution, in this case is 1080p, you can actually remove this option if you want to and he will try and use the highest resolution possible that he can with the content that you have there. Now the next thing is just make sure that con um, the rate control is CBR again, make it the highest possible, in this case I'm using 10,000 for the bit rate settings here, depending on what you want to use, this is self-explanatory, the highest or the fastest, less CPU is used but that means that he encodes really fast, but it doesn't take all the details, which makes the video a little bit lighter or smaller. When you're done, just go ahead and click on done. And to start recording, you just need to click on rec. And that will save all the files or save the video or the content into an MP4 file. Now, I did mention that you wanna probably have two monitors, but if you have only one monitor, you can use the same monitor to play and record at the same time. So the trick here is when you're using Streamlab OBS, what you want to do is actually create a projector so that you can have your output in a separate location. So I'm going to right click here, create an output projector that will create exactly what I want to see. Now, depending on how many sources you have, you could also right click on the source itself and create an output projector. And after that, you will notice that you now can see your your Nintendo Switch in that little output projector here. Now, if you want to make it a full screen, just go ahead and click where it says full screen and choose the display you want to use. In this case, now I can play my Nintendo Switch with audio in full screen while recording. If you want to exit out of this, just go ahead and press escape or right click. You can go ahead and press escape. And then from there, if you want to exit out of this, you just go ahead and press escape and you should go back to the projector output. And if you're bored about it, just go ahead and close it. And that's it. Now for OBS Studio, it's similar process as well. So we already have our output, which is the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so in this case, what you want to do is gonna go to File Settings, and as you can see, they look very alike. You're gonna choose Recording, making sure that you have the Advanced option. Again, the type is gonna be Standard. You choose where it's gonna be saved. Make sure that this checkbox is put on. And then in this case, I have track number six because I only wanted to have my Nintendo Switch output audio in track number six. I selected the CPU to use as an encoder and I'm not even rescaling. I just want to have the raw content that comes out of it. Make sure that I have a rate, con uh, rate control of CBR, which is constant instead of variable, which is VBR. You want to make sure to always use CBR. And then 10,000 and the settings are going to be straightforward, zero default main and auto. After you have these settings already set up, the last thing you need to do is just go ahead and press and start recording and you should be ready to get your content. Now, if you want to have a full screen, this is straightforward. Also, in this case, you don't, don't create, need to create an output projector. Just right click on it, full screen projector, and you can choose the display you want to use. 
So at this very moment, we are recording while getting audio content as well. Now remember, you already set up the audio properties here. So you want to make sure to have at least your offset sync to have the proper time frame for it to get audio. And since you're going to be recording and playing with the same monitor and the same computer, you want to make sure to have monitor and output. And that's it. You are now able to record your Nintendo Switch gameplay. This is Eddie 4 for more videos on live streaming and recording your Nintendo Switch, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button to know when new videos are out. Peace. See you on the next one.